So, students of class six, the same question, Hachi, a dog's tail. So, in the previous presentation, I had presented before you how that dog, Hachi, was found by Wilson at the station and he brought it home. Why? And uh, his wife's reaction to bringing that dog home. Uh, so, uh, that much we learned there. Now, uh, we will be reading this part to know what is there that we can learn. Hache follows Wilson around everywhere. Each morning, the dog accompanies Wilson to the railway station from where, the, where he catches a train to walk. Every evening at exactly the same time, Hachi uh, runs to the station to grab uh, to greet his friend as he gets home from university. Their friendship doesn't go unnoticed by those around the station, especially not by the uh, <coughs> not by the uh, how the dog vendor played by Eric Avery who owns a food stall near the station. Those who see Hachi every day come to adore and appreciate his fondness for Wilson. So up to here, we have come to know that the dog used to accompany its master to the railway station in the morning to see him off and uh, in the evening time to uh, actually bring him home from there. So this much and the people who were there near the station, they could uh, notice this and they were well aware of this. And uh, this showed the appreciation and the ador adoration that the, that the dog had for its master. However, one day, Hachi arrives at the station at the usual time and takes position, but Wilson doesn't arrive. We find out the next part in the next slide. So, wonder what happens? Wilson doesn't arrive. The dog was waiting for him. Now, what happened? Let us move on to the next slide to know about it. So, that Wilson had a fatal stroke while at work in the university. He had a stroke and he died. At this point, the movie becomes a heart clenching tragedy. Now from a comedy, it turns into tragedy. How do you explain to a dog the concept of death? How, that, how do you tell him not to wait, not to, to go home and that his friend will never return? From that day on for nearly a decade, Hachi still comes to the station every evening expectantly waiting for his friend and companion to arrive. Now, uh, he did not arrive that day. That means he died. And now, who was there to tell the dog that uh, his master had died? And he was not going to come back. But the, the dog continued for 10 years to go to the station in the same time and wait for its master. Now, a uh, review of this movie Hachi, A Dog's Tale, is utterly delightful in that it evokes so many different kinds of emotions. Now it's comic at the first part, then it becomes tragic uh, after some time. So it has comedy, it has tragedy. So uh, we love it. There is a dash of comedy, especially in the scene where we learn that the word Hachi actually means litter. Hachi means later, now after coming to know about it, we love. Wilson named the dog after the word he saw on a torn tag around his neck when he first found the animal. Now, when he first, Wilson first found the animal on its neck, he found a torn tag. And uh, the word on it was Hachi, so he gave the name to it. As it turns out, that was not the dog's name, but a snippet of an instruction that was tied around the dog's neck. It was not uh, something uh, like that dog's name. It was a snippet, and uh, this makes us laugh. There are some touching scenes where we see Hachi grow from a young dog to an old one. Uh, while still uh, waiting for Wilson to appear, seasons change from winter to spring and back to winter again, but Hachi remains unwavering in his routine, unchanged in his routine. So we see these touching things uh, when the dog waits for its master, irrespective of seasons. So this much in this presentation, we'll come up with new things in the next. Till that time, bye friends, bye students.